What's up, YouTube? Mr. Random checking in. So today, we're going to go ahead and install our rotor along with a few other parts. Our um, nuts had came in for our crank. Item number 444-098. Here goes one right here. They actually sent me three of them for 10 bucks. So we're going to install our rotor. We're going to install our washer, our nut, and we're going to get this cover installed on this side of our engine. So first, what you want to do, you want to go ahead and turn your motor, y'all hear that compression, to where your spline is facing upwards. You want to take your, your little cotter pin and you want to put it in your spline. Okay, now that we have that in there, you're going to take your stator, and there's also a notch out in the inside of it. And you're just going to slip it right on your crankshaft and line it up with that pin. Install our washer. Get it started. We have us here a 14 millimeter socket, and we're going to tighten our nut down by hand. The first time I installed it, I went wrong because I locked that nut down with an impact and wound up stripping it. So you definitely want to lock it down by hand. You see we're still a little loose there, so we're going to get a few more turns. Okay, now, now we didn't got it tight, but we're just going to turn some more, get it a little tighter. All right, y'all. Now that we have that, we we'll give it a little turn. You can feel your compression. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and install our cover. So we're gonna remove these here side bolts for our sprocket cover, and we still have to lock the sprocket down as well. Wipe our surface off. You see we got our gasket here. We're gonna line it up with our cover. All right, guys, now with it, that we have that valve cover installed, uh, next we're going to be installing our gasket with our cover that we had hit with some um, some regular black paint for a dollar straight from uh, Walmart. So we got our gasket lined up here. We're going to install our cover, add us a couple screws. As you can see, we have our throttle out of the carburetor housing itself. So we're going to install the throttle into the housing and close up our case. So we have our throttle cable installed into our carburetor. So next, we're gonna be installing our carburetor on 
onto our engine. So you'll have to just push it. It ought to fall right in place. All right, guys, that feels like we all the way in there. So we're gonna go ahead on, rotate our band. We're gonna lock him down. Okay, so we have our carburetor on our bike. There's a few hoses that we need to connect. We'll come back and put those on. All right, so there's one. We're gonna run it to the right side of our bike, up top. I guess this is just like a, a vent line. And I'm doing it now because I'm pretty sure it'll be a little difficult to get to it once we have our, um, our subframe in place. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and slide him down there as well. Now there's other holes that we have right here. All right guys, now you can see, we're finally ready to install our front wheel on our YZ125. So we have some spacers here. You see there's a different distal flange one. It's gonna go to towards the caliper side, the side with the caliper. It's gonna go on this side and we have a straight one right here. So we're gonna give those a little cleaning right quick. All right, got our straight one smooth. Let's get the flange. <laughs> All right, guys. So we have both of them pretty clean, ready for our wheel going. So, like I say, the flange side is gonna go on the side of your wheel with your brake caliper. So we're gonna spray a little arrow curl in there just so we can slide him in there nice and smooth. As you slide him, go ahead on, turn him, kind of pull him out and just make sure he's seated good in there all the way around. Uh-oh, we done lost him. So when you put it in, you just wanna, you wanna turn it. Make sure you seal all the way around. All right, that looks pretty good. You can hit it with a limo crawl. All right, we're gonna turn our wheel around. Now it's time to, to install the right side. The right side of the wheel is just a straight adapter. So we're gonna stick them in. Same thing, as you put it in, you wanna turn it. You just want it nice and seated all the way around your spacer. We're gonna go ahead on and grease our axle up with some high temperature um, red grease that we brought from Walmart. You wanna just go ahead and grease it up so you don't um, have any problems with it. Um, getting in the bind, you want it to slide right through during the in installation. But next, you wanna go ahead and come with your wheel, guys. And again, the flange side of our spacer goes on the caliper side of the bike. All right, guys, so we're on the right side of our bike. Let's start with your stud. You go ahead on and work him in place. You may have to give him a little tap to, so where he can fall in place, get lined up where he needs to go. Definitely want to keep an eye on your backside with your jack. And we're going to go ahead on and install our nut. Lift your bike up, wiggle side to side. 
Give it a turn. All right, guys, now, that, now we have our front brake caliper that we'll be reinstalling. I'm gonna open up your pads, get them slid on your rotor. All right, we got them on our rotor. Now you wanna come with your bolts. Get your one, one on the bottom side. Now you want to go ahead and grab your one on that top side. Once you get that bolt in there, you got them. So from there, you just want to pull your caliper up some. Be aware of the direction that you're putting your caps. So you can go ahead on and snug those up first and see if that works. Next, we're going to be installing our subframe. We're going to loosen up this clip right here and we have to lock our um, carburetor down with and we're just going to spray the edge of it with a little crow get us a little wipe around the edge so it can slip right in place okay now we're going to go ahead on and install this on our bike first we're going to focus on getting it on our carburetor alright y'all we got it mounted on our carburetor now we're going to get our subframe mounted. You may have to bump it up a little to get it lined up. All right, now he's nice and tight. So we have our spring right here. We're going to insert him into our hole now we got to try to get that same spring hooked on to our lever so we're gonna try to we're gonna try to grab them from the top side we gotta grab them tight you hook them right in that hole guys and that's how you want to do that so now we have us so spring back on our brake. And I think we're going to have to wind up changing this here um, master cylinder because we have a hole in our booster right here. But we do have our spring installed so we can get that spring back on our brake lever. Okay. So if you like the video, make sure you comment, subscribe, share, and we're going to be back with lots more. Just a random.